Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2 0 win over Cheshunt in the National League South. Playoff secured, Adam, and you can hear the celebrations in the background. You all must be delighted. No, yeah, like, what well, contrasting emotions, really. I have really was down on, on Saturday in terms of our performance, um, and I thought we got ourselves in a great position Saturday and let ourselves down. And, you know, it, when you have setbacks, it's all about how you respond, and this group of players, um, you know, it's. It's tough watching at the time because you know they create chances and don't quite take them, and they um, show some naivety at times. So it's, it's tough, tough to watch. But um, you know, I'm, I'm delighted that they're getting some awards and extending our season a little bit because um, I think they've already deserved that. They're, they're a real good group. They're, they're ultra professional, and um, you know, I'm really, really um, delighted that. We managed now to secure a playoff spot. Now it's a win on the final day against Henry Hempstead, and that secures a home draw as well for the playoffs. That's got to be a huge boost for us in such a high pressure environment as the playoff games are. No, definitely, yeah. Like um, our, our fans, if we get at home, um, you know, I've got to say, like, what support Chesson had today. It's not stopped singing, and you know, it reminded me of uh, what our fans are like at home, to be honest. They didn't stop, kept going. Um, and you know there is a real credit and you know we, we know we get that at Woodside as well so yeah I think Saturday is really important really important that we keep momentum going we have a good performance um, you know and, and to go into the playoffs winning six out of the last seven will be will be massive a massive boost and um, I'd say one little setback in there but we've learned from it and I thought the Two out of the last three away performances have been been really good. Um, two clean sheets in them, Farnborough and, and here again today. And you know we limit them to very little. Um, and you know some really big performances. I've said to the group all along that everyone's going to be needed. And um, you know even Mo Gemma coming back today. And um, I thought Dan Bowery coming on and didn't put a foot wrong. Um, you know he, he's probably very disappointed not to be starting. And then. You know, that's got to get out of his system and then he's just got to give his all for the team and I, I thought he'd done that and I thought he was excellent and Mo Dabra has been out of the team for a bit and the effort and energy that him, Pax and Kane played with today I thought you know was was, was second to none and it was really spurred us on and that's what we've got to play with that kind of intensity um, that's what it's got to look like for us and I think that's when we're at our best when, when we do that. I felt like the team left everything on the pitch today as you yeah. mentioned the, that midfield and, uh, yeah, headache, a name headache for you again with two Mo's in the squad once again Yeah, I thought we've got over that <laughs> No it's, 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 it's quite nice actually when you have them both up top and you just say go on Mo and you get two lots of response it's, it's brilliant to be fair but um, no yeah it's, it's, I thought that was both, both excellent Mo Jamma show some nice little touches and we're going to definitely need him tomorrow as well and the whole whole group's going to have to get together we're going to have to see who's not too leggy and can go again and you know we've got some good players that are not not with us today and you know they've got to step up to the plate and, and give a good performance yeah how are you feeling ahead of tomorrow it's obviously pretty challenging on the back of three away games to have a game uh, day after another what's the confidence in the squad like are you happy with the selection you might have for that um yeah, it's, it's, um, it's like I said, it's, it's it's down to how well we've done all season, and you know now's not the time to you know hide behind anything and have any excuses. Um, you know, it's it's a real tough tough tie. There's no questions about it. We're going to have to perform and have the intensity and energy that we've had tonight and display it again tomorrow um, to get anything out of, out of the tie. Um, but you know we're there because and we've got this this um, this problem if you like because of how well the team's done all season and you know every game's massive and you know Saturday's a massive game and I thought it was important not to um, have another game before Saturday and we need to prepare properly Thursday for the game on Saturday but you know we've, we've got squad we've got another a lot of players um, at the club and associated with the club and you know they've got to really step up to the plate and show what they're worth and you know if they do that then you know we'll be a, a tough tough opponent as well. You know how ambitious you are, I think everyone does at this club, but considering this is the first season at this level for this club ever, to not only just have a high finish but to achieve the playoffs, as a personal accomplishment do you feel any weight behind that? Um, no, listen, I'm, I'm my expectation is like 
through the roof. You know, uh, a demand. You know that this team wins, and you know I put them through it. And every training session, every minute they're with us, I want it to be done to the best that they can give. And um, you know, I still feel disappointed. I think Saturday is is big for us, and you know would have given us a chance to finish in the top three still going into the last game, which. I think there's been games this season, we've, we've had a lot of draws and I, f I still think we should be 10 points better than what we are. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's always going to be my mentality to try and get us to, you know, get those 10 points and, and make that up. So, yeah, obviously our first season, the first season for a few of the lads, uh, my first season at this level as well. So. Um, you know, I, I think we would have took it at the start of the season, but just how the season's panned out, you know, I still feel we could have done could have done a little bit more. But I think ultimately, you know, at the end of a, a season, the table doesn't normally lie. So we've got to accept where we are. But you know, the good thing is, I think we're getting a bit of momentum and a, um, a bit of consistency to to the team um, heading into the into the playoffs, which uh, could, could be really good for us.